Hey, Sparkless. Uh, we have a great champagne for our June selection here. This is a uh, Wari Larmandier uh, Chassine de Trois from Aviz in Champagne. And uh, Chassine de Trois stands for three roots. And the three roots are the three grapes, uh, which are the Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Meunier. Also three siblings uh, who uh, make up the winemaking family. And then also each of the grapes comes from one of the three different regions in the Champagne, which is from the Côte de Blanc, Montagne de Reims, and the Aube. So uh, three is kind of across the board here, so Racine de Trois. And this bottle in particular is, uh, one, first it's a beautiful bottle. I mean, this is just one of the prettiest bottles. And it's this design because one of the siblings, the sister, um, she is uh, Ines. Uh, her, she's an artist, right? So she designs all the labels. All their bottles are beautiful. I have to see it in person. I hope it comes off from camera, but really just beautiful bottles, nice artwork. And what you're seeing here are flowers. And the flowers that are on here actually um, are a tribute to her mom who has flower boxes uh, on the house. And if you go to Aviz in France, you'll actually see these flower boxes. They're on one of the main roads. And it's just kind of um, a way to honor that and for her mom. So the story behind this is, this is first of all, a fantastic, just a wonderfully complex champagne. It, it tastes older than it really is, which is amazing. They did a great job in how they made this. Uh, it has a, t all, a ton of flavors here going on. I mean, it has the green apple, white flowers, there's pears, a little bit of caramel because of the age coming through. You got a little bit of the brightiness. You got a little bit of the can, like a little bit of candied orange, uh, candied lemon. Uh, it's just really, just wonderful. And so one of the unique things about this too is also most champagnes are made at between five and six atmospheres in terms of pressure and how much the bubbles, you know, how strong they are. This one is purposely made a tiny bit lower. So it comes in around four and a half. And they do that to kind of help. They really want to express uh, the flavors and they want everyone to get everything out of it in terms of uh, taste, aromas and flavors like that. Really, really, really high effervescence bubbles when six atmospheres. Um, when it's really cold and super bubbly, it can mask some of the flavors. So they just really wanted everything to shine through. So they made it just a tiny bit softer. And it, there's also a slight creaminess to it when you drink it, which makes it really enjoyable to drink. It's just, it's a wonderful champagne. Uh, and the story behind them is kind of interesting, right? Because it's a younger house in a sense, because many champagne houses are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years old. But this was made, <coughs> excuse me, this one was formed by uh, Marie-Hélène Marie Larmondier and uh, her husband, uh, Vincent uh, Waris. And they were both came from Champagne families that have long histories. So Marie-Hélène is a fifth generation of a Champagne family. So they were not new to this. And being small towns, Champagne is not that big, right? Being, being a small village, a small area, um, their family history is kind of intermixed and intertwined with a lot of really well-known Champagne producers um, in the region. So. Um, Marie-Hélène Larmandier, uh, she married Vincent Waris. And Waris, he, unfortunately, he passed away too soon. Um, but uh, her brother, her family already had a, was already producing champagne, already had one, and her brother is a winemaker for that, and that was under Guy Larmandier, which is another champagne producer. And then uh, her cousin owns Larmandier Bernier in Vertus, uh, who I've had the fortune of meeting with and um, speaking with and tasting his wines. But Larmandier Bernier is a uh, cousin of hers. And then there's the Gimonet in a town called Cui. Gimonets are very well known as well, and those are cousins of hers as well. And then Vincent Warib, he, had a, he has a brother, and his brother owns the, he produces under the label Wari Hubert. So there's just a lot of different connections, and that's kind of how it goes in Champagne. So anyway, it's just kind of interesting. If you know any of those uh, Champagnes, right, they're all kind of interconnected in the same family tree. So anyways. A lot of family, a lot of family know-how inside one bottle, right, that goes into here. So, Wari uh, Larmandier Trois Racines is an excellent, excellent champagne. Please enjoy. Cheers.